Hey guys, it's Michael from Kaka Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about the, all the different phase changes. I'll give you the names associated with each of the phase changes, as well as a real life example to help you remember it more easily. I have a diagram right here with solid, liquid, and gas, as well as the six connections representing the six different phase changes between these. So let's start with the first one. Solid to liquid, this is called melting. You can, remember, you can think of this as when you have a, a ice cube and then it turns into water, that's just melting because it turned from solid to liquid. The next liquid to solid, there's a lot of names for this, so some of the names include vaporization, boiling, and evaporation. So this is what happens when you put water on the stove and then turn on the heat, it turns from liquid water into gaseous water. Next, let's go backwards, so from, gaseous, from gas to liquid, that is called condensation. And that's what happens in the atmosphere. In the atmosphere, there's gaseous water, and under the right condition, this gas, gaseous water becomes comes together and becomes liquid water, and that falls down in the form of rain, and that's called condensation. Next, liquid to solid, that is called freezing. And this one is pretty self-explanatory. Think about water turning into ice cubes. So it's just a reverse process. Now let's talk about the situation when you have a solid becoming gas. So under the under certain conditions, a solid can skip the liquid phase and become the gas phase, and that process is called sublimation. And that's what happens with solid iodine. If you leave uh, purple, ice, purple solid iodine out in, on the counter, it's just going to naturally evaporate uh, and become, I mean, natural sublime and become a gas and skips the liquid phase. And then on the opposite, when you have a gas turning back into solid, that is called deposition. So the way you can remember this is you can think of the gas uh, depositing on the surface and becoming a solid again. And, and those are the names for the six different phase changes. Hopefully this made it easier for you to understand and to remember them. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.